question that I decided, you know what, I'm going to answer on camera. I probably have before. I've had a few people ask me, will MRL lose his fluff? Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. I just finished my last day of class. Woohoo! Um, so once I get the official transcript from Dalton State, I send it over to ABEC, and then I will get my fancy piece of paper that says I have a bachelor's degree in biology, which I've been saying that I have my bachelor's degree anyway because I put all the freaking hard work into it. So, whatever. Um... I ran late this morning. I woke up at like 10.20. The class started at 10.50. Got here at like 10.52 and I was just like, I don't care anymore. I really don't. Um, which kind of surprised me in comparison to probably last year where I would have been even more panicked about being late. But today I was just like, I don't care. I mean, you could probably tell by what I'm wearing. I threw this on very quickly. So, <laughs> enough to look like I'm somewhat presentable. And now that I'm out of class, I'm going to be going to Office Depot, or is it Staples? I think it's Office Depot, um, to see if they can mail off the statistics book, because I need to send that back. And then, I know I need to run by CVS, so we'll just see what the rest of the day holds today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. It's Friday now. Literally yesterday, I just binge watched American Horror Story. That was the day. That's why I really didn't vlog that much. I know. I'm boring. So today, Special Olympics track and field for our local area. So I'm heading over to Cahilla Creek High School to help out with that. I just dropped my brother off at work. So now I'm off for the day. So just want to tell you guys good morning. I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. So there's Miss Sassy Girl, just hanging out. And you can probably tell, I look a little sunburnt, especially when I get sunburned. It makes the bags under my eyes look much more obvious. So thanks, sun. But today was Special Olympics track and field. And it was awesome. My dad and I did the modified running events together. He lined up the athletes and I recorded times for them. And then got to go with my mom to eat lunch. We had some Mexican. It was great. Got home and I was so tired, so I took a nap. Apparently, I napped for two hours, but I don't feel like I rested at all. And around that time is when I learned I was sunburned. Because I, I mean, it was a cloudy day out. It was pretty cool, so I didn't really remember that, you know, sunburn could still happen on a cloudy day. Um... Until Riddler licked my face. And then I was like, no, don't do it. So, my face hurts now. Ow. And then I went with my parents to drop off Tyler at Magic. We went and had dinner at Panera. And then we were going to hang out with our Special Olympics swim team and supervise them. Because their coach is out at a regional comp track competition with his seven-year-old. Who is awesome. <clears throat> But nobody had locked, uh, unlocked the doors to the pool, so practice was canceled. So then came home. Mom and I hung out in the hammock, and we played charades. It was awesome. And now I'm back upstairs. I'm about to get a shower. And I just remembered, hey, Raven, you should probably vlog. Because I didn't post a vlog today. Because I had the one clip from yesterday, and I would have felt bad just giving you guys literally 25 seconds. So I was like, no. So, I'm sorry. I do need to get on my computer, though, and check my email. Because I know I've had a couple of you who, like they said, like said that you were trying to send me the videos for the Faces of Mental Illness project. But, like, your email was being weird. So, one person, I've told them that I'm going to get on my email and make sure that the video was sent through. I'll go ahead and tell you guys, it doesn't matter what email you send to me. Like, it doesn't have to be Gmail in order to send the video to Gmail. So, there you go. And if you know me personally, if you know my Facebook, you could just Facebook message it to me. 
And no, I'm not giving out my personal Facebook to everybody on my vlog because no, I just don't do that. I do have my Facebook page though, pressing the panic button. And I think you could send me video clips that way too. But for Facebook, it has to be under, under a minute and 30 seconds, which is why I made that the maximum time for the video. And if you guys are like, what in the heck is this girl talking about? So, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And last year what I did was I made a video each week related to mental illness. I'll actually put a link somewhere where you can go to the playlist for that. I made a video called Dear Parents, which was directed towards parents of, chil of children, adults, whatever, with um, anxiety. I talked about um, what to do when a friend comes out to you saying they have a mental illness, the stigma on medication, and something else. I forget what it was now. Um, but this time, I wanted to make a video called The Faces of Mental Illness. Because as we know, uh, mental illness has a lot of stigma. And a big thing is that it has a certain appearance. Like depressed people cry all the time, or people with dissociative identity disorder are going to murder you in your sleep, or something like that. So I thought, why not make this video of, like, different people that, you know, show what mental illness really is. So if you'd like to participate, I have a link down below for video submissions. Um, I need you to, in your video, it could be a maximum of a minute and 30 seconds. Um, it could definitely be less. I know mine was about 30-something seconds. Um... But I'll need you to say your name, your age, what mental illnesses you have, um, what is the worst thing about having mental illness, and what is the best thing about having mental illness. So for example, I would say, my name is Raven. I am 22 years old. I have generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. And the worst thing about mental illness is feeling like you are trapped. Feeling like as much as you want help, you can't ask for it because your mind won't let you but a positive thing about mental illness is that I've been able to use it to inspire other people through vlogging on YouTube so that's an idea like what you can do um you got you can submit your videos to pressing the panic button at gmail.com and I'll put that down here somewhere there's the email down in the description and the last day I will, will be accepting videos is on May 19th, which is my birthday. So, and within the next week, the video should be out. So if you guys are interested in submitting a video, you can. Um, if you don't want to talk in the video, doing a text video is fine. If you don't want to show your face, you can show like your dog or one of your favorite stuffed animals or your door. It doesn't matter. Um, I would prefer it where you talk, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, that's fine. So, if you're interested, then submit your videos to, again, pressing the panic button at gmail.com. And now, I'm going to go and get me a shower. So, I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys! There be a Riddler stealing my bed. Are you stealing my bed, Riddler? Oh, I heard your spine pop everywhere, little boy. And then there's my little fluff butt. <laughs> Hi, baby. And Chassie is fast asleep. So, there's a question that I decided, you know what, I'm going to answer on camera. I probably have before. I've had a few people ask me, will Emerald lose his fluff? Because as you see, as I told you, he and Riddler are brothers. They're full brothers, actually. And as you see, Riddler has no fluff. No fluff, do you? And Emerald has lots of fluff. All oh, the fluffs. And the answer is no. He will not lose any of this fluff. Um, he looked a lot fluffier when he was a baby. At seven weeks old. I'll try and remember to post a picture. But he looked like, I called him a loaf. He looked like a fluff loaf. Kind of like a baby bear. But as he's grown up and slimmed, he looks a little less fluffy. But, I mean, you could definitely tell the fluff, like, between his toes. See, dear, between his toes. Especially his ears. Um, long hair is a recessive gene in Weimaraners. Which means that both parents 
had to be carrying the gene in order to have long hair puppies. Their parents, which of course they're the same parents, are both short haired dogs. Oh, yawn. Oh, you're gonna make everyone yawn, Riddler. Dang it. Hey, buddy. So, and it actually wasn't until this one's litter, who was the year before MRL, is when they first saw long haired puppies. And she has three females. One of them, I think, is retired now, but only one of the females will produce long hair puppies. So, fun fact for you. And apparently, when it comes to, like, dog showing, long hair is not favored. Oh, hi. <gasps> Riddler, did you want to come and join? Riddler. Hi. Hi. Riddler, why don't you love me? There's your butt. <laughs> You're just going after the toys. And there be a little fluffer butt. Guys. So, apparently, in the dog show biz, long-haired wimes is not favored. So they don't really breed for it, which is why it's rare. So, no, MRL will not be losing his fluff. Will you guys try not to murder each other? Well, can you at least get your energy out before bedtime? <gasps> hey, what this? Go get it. Yes, good boy. Good boy. I probably just shot y'all's ears out. With my very loud pew pew sounds, I'm sorry. Hey, a good boy. Hey, Riddler, you want that? It once had peanut butter in it. Oh, and here's the Kong that they had. I think they cleared it of peanut butter. Yep, it looks pretty empty. And they love their Kongs. Oh, they're actually playing tug. Emeril won't always do that. So now, before you guys get your ears blasted, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Guys, will you chill? Take that. Bloop. Oops, sorry buddy, I just hit you in the face. I didn't mean to do that. Question of the day is, what is, guys, can I please? You're getting sassy riled up too. All right guys, what should the question of the day be? Emerald says, what makes you wag your tail? So whether you human or an animal, whatever, what makes you wag your tail? So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Sassy. You want to tell the people good night? You want to tell them good night? Okay. You want to tell the people good night? Good night, Riddler. Oh, now you don't want to talk. Good night, Emerald. Sweet dreams, everybody.